UEFA Cup final. Spirits were high as they left to witness Ipswich's last chance to salvage something of what could have been a brilliant season. Early hopes of triple wins in the league, the FA Cup and Europe have been lost one by one. And even with a three-goal advantage over AZ Alkmaar, Ipswich are taking nothing for granted. In his second report from Holland, John Myatt reviews their prospects. The Ipswich team headquarters is a hotel right by the canal, a handy location that was certainly not lost on the travelling pressmen who saw the return home of Dutchman Arnold Muren and Franz Tyson as an angle not to be missed. Being Dutchmen, they just had to be cyclists too. And when the picture taking was over, Arnold Muren proved that he can be as nippy on two wheels as on two feet. Being back home to some extent puts extra pressure on the Dutchmen. It's especially a matter of pride for them to do well. Well, because everybody's talking about the English game, that play with a lot of the long balls, and they don't like it very much in Holland, I don't think. And if you can prove tomorrow night that we are the best team and win the cup in Holland, especially in Holland because, you know, our family is still living here, and they have gone to watch the game, the same applies to friends, of course. Yeah. For both of you, it is important to win something in English football, isn't it? I mean, you, you can then got, you've got something to show to prove that you've actually done well in English football. That's right, we had a fairly good season, I thought. Uh, but in the end, uh, we all missed the trophies and... Uh, that's our last chance, and uh, after the home game, it's you know, then uh, you don't want to lose, uh, lose that one now. Eh? It sounds as if you've got some of your teammates yeah. having a go at you there. What's the situation, Franz, with your contract? No, I just heard my chance fee is uh, around uh, 200,000 pounds, and uh, I've just made me an offer and have to see what, what sort of offer uh, other clubs uh, offer me, and uh, I hope to settle it in the, in the next uh, two weeks. Would victory in the UEFA Cup make any difference to your decision? No, I don't think so. Uh, what, I, what I said earlier, I'm quite happy in England, and uh, when there's not, not much money uh, between these uh, two clubs, and I'd like to stay in England. And, uh, it's... The first job of the morning for manager Bobby Robson was to cope with an international press conference. I'm very hopeful that we will play the same team that played in the first match. We only have two slight problems. One is Brands and the other is Mariner, but uh, they are probably in a better position now than they were when they played the last time against AZ Osmar. So, in view of that, I don't anticipate any problems. He said that Ipswich weren't coming to defend a three goal advantage. If they scored one themselves, then the cup would surely be theirs. Afterwards, I asked Robson if victory or defeat against Alkmaar would decide his own future with the club. Uh, no, I don't think so. No. Um, I don't really want to talk about my future, John, because I'm not really here to advertise me, in a sense. I mean, I'm going to give this match every ounce of, of energy and, con and uh, concentration that, that uh, is necessary. Uh, I've just, just got a couple of things in my mind, you know. But I'll sort that out without any problem. Um, Manchester United being one of the things? Not particularly, no. no. Uh, M Manchester United, in all honesty, is a million miles away from me at the moment. Um, I'm on a contract with Ipswich, and uh, I, you know I'll sort out my future uh, and make the right decision. So you're poised now for, in a sense, the most important game of your career with Ipswich. Well, we know the importance of it. Um, we've got all the disappointments uh, of the FA Cup and the league. It's our last chance of a very big pot of silver, and it is a big cup. I mean, we've travelled a long road to get here. You know, I think of. St. Etienne and Cologne, and even the first match at Salonica, we've come from some more deals, and we're not going to let it slip. Ipswich had been tasting the atmosphere at the Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam, and compared to the green hell of St. Etienne, it's going to be almost this quiet, with only half the available tickets sold. It's a full-strength team, Mariner and Tyson shrugging off niggling injuries, but Kevin Beatty's broken arm still keeps him out of action. Ipswich should find a three-goal lead a comfortable cushion, but memories of past failures in Europe will be enough to prevent any overconfidence. ...leg of the UEFA Cup final in Amsterdam against AZ67 of Alkmaar. Ipswich hold a 3-0 lead from the first leg. Stuart Jarrell sets the scene in Holland. 
We're in the huge Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam, the setting for the second leg of the UEFA Cup final. It's a match which hasn't captured the imagination of the Dutch fans because only 20,000 of the 65,000 tickets have been sold and over 5,000 of those have gone to Ipswich Town supporters. David Housley of Anglia Tours has masterminded the exodus of the Blue and White Army from Ipswich to Amsterdam. We're in the holiday season now, particularly for Holland. It's just uh, still in the goldfield season, so everything is almost booked up before we started. Uh, so we have, uh, I think, four different shipping lines, six different uh, ports, aircraft, coaches, everything you can think of. We have uh, on charter and uh, somehow they're getting here. For over an hour, the players had a workout on the pitch. First time. That's not a very serious workout, Bobby. No, no, it's not. Just going to feel the pitch, that's all. Just to relax and get a feel of the ground, you know. I mean, uh, you don't want to do anything uh, too serious. Just close to the game, you know. That's right. Paul Mariner, who hasn't played since Ipswich won the first leg at Portman Road a fortnight ago, needed to test his ankle injury. Franz Tyson, who's been troubled with a groin strain for some time, also had to prove his fitness. But both will definitely play in a full-strength Ipswich side. I don't think this beats Wembley a little bit on the turf. Marvellous, isn't it? Yeah. Should be in for a good match then. We can't play on this, we can't play anywhere, let's put it that way. <laughs> the pitch won't be this, that's a certainty. Manager Bobby Robson says all their efforts have been concentrated on avoiding complacency. It's our last gas. It's a very big pot. I mean, winning the UEFA Cup is a very big, very big prestigious cup. It's not easily done when I think of the long road we've had in getting here. To lose or to let the bird fly away now would be would be crazy. No, we're not going to be crazy. We're going to be mean and we're going to be ruthless. And we're going to bring that cup home to Ipswich and home England. No problems then for Ipswich. Everyone keen and confident. Tomorrow we'll be reporting on the final against AZ Alkmaar and hopefully Ipswich Town celebrations bringing home that UEFA Cup. The public employee Ipswich Town have been.